Hi there, thanks for taking the time to tune into this video. Wish we could be face to face and in person, but that's not always possible, so I guess this will have to do. I'm going to introduce you to my little friend here. My kids made this, and you'll notice, of course, the theme of this newsletter has some Lego, some building blocks around it. And uh, the kids built this for me so that I'm not alone, uh, even when I can't hear them. And thanks for being a part of building Shalom in this world. Really want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your prayers, your financial support, for the work of the Peace and Reconciliation Network. And I just wanted to explain a little bit about what PRN is. Uh, the Peace and Reconciliation Network is a commission of the World Evangelical Alliance. The World Evangelical Alliance is made up of 143 different national alliances around the world of evangelical Christians, many different denominations and organizations in Central America, Latin America, Africa, Asia, North America, Europe. And as a commission, PRN's job is to inspire and equip and connect the church and people of peace to enable communities to live life in all its fullness. So when we pray, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, we assume actually that God is going to answer that prayer by motivating people like us, people like the church, the, the, the people of the church to be engaged in bringing social transformation because the gospel is not only about reconciling me to God, but about reconciling me with others and with his creation. And you and I and the church together have a unique and God-given responsibility to do that. And so PRN is active in many of these different countries and continents and increasingly desiring to be a part of more like Latin America, where we've been invited to bring uh, the possibility of a team there later this year. So I'm hopeful that our team expands. And in this newsletter, you'll find all kinds of different stories. And there's many more. I wish we could share those stories face to face. And in fact, if you have some people in your sphere of influence, uh, your relationships that you think would love to hear about this kind of work and how to invest in influencers and really get behind uh, those who bring the church together, then please reach out to me. Love to make those connections. Let me share a little metaphor to help you understand what PRN is and why it matters. Think about your neighborhood for just a second. Think about what happens in your neighborhood if there's a sudden tragedy. Think about the difference somebody makes in the neighborhood who rallies the neighbors together and says, hey, that family needs some love and care. Let's take some meals. Let's take care of their yard. Let's do something that helps in a time of need time of conflict or pain or tragedy. You've probably experienced this in some way, or you've experienced what happens when it doesn't happen. So PRN is kind of like that, and you'll know in your neighborhood what changes when somebody brings the neighborhood together like that. It starts to feel different. Relationships are strengthened. Some good things emerge, and you have this feeling that the atmosphere is different and the neighborhood's a better place to be. Well, that's what PRN's job is, to be that person who brings God's people together to serve the society, because what we discover when we start to feel that things are different in the neighborhood like that is we start to say, hey, that's shalom, that's God's very best, and we can point to it because that's been what, what has been accomplished through Jesus Christ on the cross. So PRN's work is like that. We, in all of these places, bring the church together because there's internal church conflicts and pain. There's conflicts in the society and pain. And you've read the headlines. You know about a bunch of them. PRN probably has people connected in those places, working and caring to inspire and equip and connect the church so that every church, every disciple, every alliance in all of these places becomes a center of reconciliation. So we can't do it alone. Uh, we need one another, and we need you. Thanks for participating, and thanks for hanging out for just a little bit here with my friend and I.